what's going on everybody how are y'all doing today welcome in to the week 17 power rankings and it's kind of crazy because after this week we just gotta rank the postseason teams because there's no more power rankings after this other than the 12 teams 14 teams excuse me that make it to the postseason but let's get this started with our obvious 32 the jacksonville jaguars now jacksonville is got the number one seed locked but they gave up 44 points to trubisky so um that's all i gotta say 44 points to mitch trubisky good job y'all um defense is looking trash offense looking trash they're getting trevor lawrence so hopefully that'll help them but um yeah <laughs> this team is bad um i would kind of aaron would hate me for saying this but i'm gonna say it anyway i'd love them to go ahead and fight for this win against the colts i mean might as well get a divisional sweep right like i mean if you can sweep <laughs> the colts <laughs> imagine that happening i feel like that would literally <laughs> be so killer um but the colts would literally be the team to make fun of um, okay, next we got the Jets at 31 before I talk too much about making fun of the Colts and the Seahawks are probably going to just, you know, lose because of it. So I don't want to go too far in depth. But yeah, the Jets are 31. They won a game. So a lot of people would probably keep them there, but I am not going to give them too much respect for this win. They beat the Browns with no wide receivers. But here's the thing that I guess I'll talk about it more when I talk about the Browns. But, um, yeah, honestly, 31 is a great spot. They're going to be – they're just poorly mismanaged, I think, is my biggest issue with the Jets, is they're poorly mismanaged. Um, they need to get rid of Gase, which I think they will. Um, they better. I mean, Gase literally ruined the team even further and managed to make this team just that much worse. Um, so, God love it when uh, he does that. But, yeah, honestly – Gase is it's time for him to go uh but next we got the Detroit Lions they're dropping a spot after a tremendous 47 to 7 loss to the buff or the bu Buccaneers Buffalo Bills I mean they would lose that to the Buffalo Bills too the bill or the the Lions are really a dysfunctional organization at this point and I hate to say it because I would love to say that they're much a better organization than they are but I mean Stafford's injured Stafford has like a bunch of issues right now. Um, they have no coach. All their coaches got into the protocol. Um, like they literally fell apart so badly um, that they definitely deserve to be here. But I know for a fact they're not worse than the Jets and the Jags. So at least they get the hat. Um, next, we have the Cincinnati Bengals moving up a spot after their win against the... Um, who did they beat? Actually, I don't remember already. I already forgot who they beat. That tells you how memorable of a game that was. Oh, the Texans. There it was. I literally didn't have to look it up, but, um, but I, yeah, I'm looking it up anyway for later. But yeah, they beat the Texans. They, they actually played a solid, another solid game. Um, and I was actually debating moving them up in another spot. But, like, this team is definitely going to go through that sophomore Burrow season, and it's going to be a fun one. I think that this team has the opportunity to take over whatever they want to. Um, they just need to get some offensive linemen, so they really kind of need to lose against the Ravens so they can get uh, good offensive linemen. And, yeah, I mean, honestly, they're, they're in a good spot. They're primed um, for a good season next year. Um, and I'm hoping for it, but they're in a tough, tough division. It's only going to get tougher, I think, throughout the years. Um, next we have the New England Patriots. They are one of our biggest droppers of the week, dropping seven. If you don't score a touchdown in two games, that's a problem. I want to say that they got five field goals in their game against the, uh, Miami Dolphins. Um, let me go ahead and double check that I'm right on this. Yeah, 12, four field goals. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you don't score a touchdown in two games, you're trash. Sorry, you don't belong in the NFL right now. Um, like, yeah, that's a big yikes to see them not get a touchdown in two games. They're definitely 28. Um, defense is fine. I think next year the defense will continue to stay fine. I'm just worried about this offense and what they can do because you can't run on a – you can't literally just rely on your defense. You have to have some form of offense, and right now they just don't have that. Um, uh, next, dropping three is the Philadelphia Eagles. 
Uh, they got blown out by the Cowboys, and it just was bad. They started out okay, and the game was looking like it was going to be even, but it just fell apart quickly, and that was just literally a symbol of their season. Like, it looked like it was going to be good. I even predicted this team to go 10-6. and six. Um, Funny me. Um, and actually, we can, uh, we're can we going to review my predictions next week uh, and see how bad they really were. Um, but yeah, so honestly, this team was not what anybody expected it to be. I expect Doug Peterson to be fired uh, next or at the end of this week um, on the coaching carousel on Monday. Um, this is just not the team that uh, is supposed to be led. And I think Doug Peterson is very overrated. He played for ties. He did things to sacrifice this team. And that's just not a coach. That's not what you do as a coach. You want to make your team better. You don't sacrifice for your team um, to be worse. So... Uh, yeah, next is the Denver Broncos who are going to move up a spot. It really, they moved up a spot only because the Eagles were f so trash this week. So, uh, that's literally all I can say. Um, Broncos, again, another team that underperformed. Um, and I think they need to definitely evaluate some things. I honestly think they're in a much better position than the teams ahead of them, but they're not in the greatest position in the league right now. Um, next is the San Francisco 49ers. They're going to move up one spot as well. Um, the 49ers had a good defense. They rose to the occasion. They're really well coached in a great organization. Just injuries hit them so hard this year. Um, they're definitely a team to be worried about, a team to be scared about in the coming future. I think Garoppolo is going to be an interesting situation. I don't know if we're going to actually see Garoppolo in the division. Um, I think there's a like a 50% chance that he goes and it's like a coin flip on whether or not he doesn't play for the team anymore because he's not that big of a hit and you want to get rid of um and so with that being said I think that um actually I don't think he is a hit anymore because this is his final season um on his contract if I'm not mistaken um I probably am but um but yeah honestly they're a team to look forward to to look see how they kind of get better but they just I don't know they're gonna be an interesting team to look at and watch out for um Definitely NFC West power for sure. Uh, next, we got the Houston Texans. They are dropping seven. I had them way too high. I really did. You lose the Bengals in a shootout with Ryan Finley. Like, what is this defense? Okay, like, what is this defense? I almost had them lower. I almost, I almost flip flopped them with the 49ers. I almost feel like I should have, but um, yeah, just, that just was a horrendous defensive performance against a horrendous offense in the Bengals, and yeah, it just, it's bad, bad things in Houston, so hopefully they can fix that for sure. Um, next we have the, or New York Giants dropping a spot. Honestly, the New York Giants dropped a spot because their offense couldn't do anything against the Ravens, who has had a decent defense, but not that good. There's like, and so, because of that, they're definitely falling. They couldn't do anything against that run defense. And, yeah, no, I'm sorry. You just deserve to be where you are. Um, and next, we got Dallas moving up four spots. And Dallas has a highly anticipated matchup because they could still take over the division. Both the Jets are the, the Jets. Both the Giants and the Cowboys both have an opportunity to take over their division. Um, whoever wins this has the opportunity if the football team loses, which is a very high likelihood of happening. Um, and this group of teams, it's going to be interesting to see what happens and how they play. Um, who's going to come out with the gusto? Who's going to come out with the fire? I think right now that because Daniel Jones is literally, uh, Daniel Jones, I just, I can't stand him as a quarterback right now. Um, like I'm going to be honest, he's just not good enough to play in the NFL. I don't, I just, I believe that. Um, and I think the Dallas Cowboys will come out with the victory, sadly. But I think that's what's going to happen. Um, but next, speaking of the Washington football team, they're number 21, dropping two spots after their whole performance. They lose Haskins, which is a very good thing for them, I think. That's going to help them out. But again, no offensive production. This defense is really good, and they're just going to soil it. Um, hopefully they can win, because um, I would love to see them in the playoffs, see what they do and muster up. Um, but right now, it's not anybody's game. Um this offense definitely has some work to do, um, and they got to figure out how to get that work done fast. Um, a team that's actually going to go massively up, who had a surprising game for me last week, was the Atlanta Falcons. They're going to actually move up five spots, the highest they've ever been on the year. I don't think they're going to do that against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't. I just don't. Um, but also, geez, that was a really good defensive stand of defensive performance. But this is the thing that I've had problems with Atlanta this year: either their offense is trash. 
on a week the defense is oh, the defense is lights out or the offense is lights out when the defense is trash and like they just don't have any complimentary football um in them at the moment and they just need to fix that if they fix that they're a good team but they're in cap casualty issues and they're gonna have to start getting rid of players for cap um reasons and that's gonna be unfortunate i think they might be going uh south from here unfortunately speaking of teams that are going the opposite of south the carolina panthers moving up a spot um, i think this team is going to be better and get better throughout the year um, I see this team being a threat within the next couple of years. They just need a quarterback. Um, they've got some good players and good playmakers throughout the entire team, I think. But yeah, once they do get that, um, once they do get that quarterback of the future, oh, watch out for this team because this team is going to be scary. Um, next is Minnesota. They're going to stay put at 18. They really got blown out badly by the um, New Orleans Saints. But, like, you also, you can't really say that it's, like, a really surprising thing. It is the Saints, and this run defense is so bad. We kind of expected this team to get beat. Um, it was just a matter of how bad, and it just was way worse than anybody could have ever imagined. So, um, yeah. Number 17 is the Los Angeles Chargers moving up six spots. They're our biggest mover of the week. They have finally put it together the performances that they needed to. They're going to be scary next year, I hope. Because I would love to see this team get better and do what they uh, – and make the playoffs and just be a competitive team against the Chiefs. I think I can see that. They're going to beat the Chiefs this week, I think, because, well, they're not starting anybody, the Chiefs. So, yeah. Um, continuing on, we have the Oakland Raiders staying at 16. I actually – again, another situation where I was debating on a flip-flop here. I think that the Raiders are actually in trouble, um, and they could actually lose – and Gruden could be in trouble, and the hot seat should, like, build up. There's a lot that could happen to this Raiders team, but they're right now in this tier with the Chargers and the Vikings and the Panthers of teams that are at, not going to make the playoffs this year, but are teams that are going to hopefully make strides forward, um, and I could definitely see that for sure. Um, next is the Arizona Cardinals. They are going to drop a spot this week after a horrendous performance against the 49ers. This is, It's a win and in game. I think they can do it with Goff injured, but I think if Goff was not injured, I think they'd be in trouble. Um, so they're kind of lucky that Goff got hurt against the Seahawks uh, because I think that saved their playoff hopes, uh, unfortunately, for everybody else. Uh, next, a team that I actually have to say is kind of respectable is the Chicago Bears. They're playing like they should have. Uh, Mitch Trubisky is still playing well, doing great things. I just, I don't see them being a top 10, top 5 caliber team yet. I think they're back in the position where they were in the beginning of the year, where it's like, eh, they're okay. They're something. Um, and they're just kind of clinging on to that 7 seed for sure. Um, next, we have the LA Rams who are dropping a spot um, with that loss to the Seattle Seahawks. Um, this team, I called it. I called it with joy. I said it depends on how Goff performs. Goff did not perform well. And what do you know? They didn't score a touchdown against this Seattle defense. Um, and, yeah, it's just... And now with Goff injured, that's even a bigger problem. And they're actually, in my opinion, have the most potential to be the first one out of the playoffs. Um, I think the Bears are going to play well against the Packers. Um, I don't think they're going to win. Um, I guess if they don't win, it puts them not at first team out but i think they're going to be the seventh seed for sure if not first team out then we have the miami dolphins who played their hearts out and flip with the rams they beat the rams too earlier in the season this defense is really good and does really good things it's just a matter of whether or not Tua Tagovailoa is actually going to progress because i don't he's not ready for playoff football he's clearly shown that um, and Fitzpatrick is out for the week. So this team is actually my projection to be first out in the AFC. Um, I don't think Tenko Valiloa is going to be able to withstand the pressure of the Bills. Um, and honestly, I think this is where their season does come to the end. I think they're going to be the 10 and 6 and be the first one out in the AFC, which is AFC was stacked this year. So at least props to them for getting a 10 win season. That's awesome for them. Um, next we have the, uh, the Cleveland Browns dropping a spot this week. 
Um, you lost everything. You just couldn't handle yourself correctly. And that's the problem that I see with this team. They need to be able to handle themselves and do well. Um, because a loss against the Pittsburgh Steelers with backups and a win for the Dolphins will actually knock you out of the playoffs. And you don't want to see that at all. So there's a lot of interesting situations with the, the, the battling for seeding. And I hope the Browns do pull it off, but if they if they lose to the Jets and the Steelers with backups, that's just going to be like the most Browns way to not make the playoffs. Also, another thing we need to bring up, though, is the fact that with all your receivers out, you ran the ball 18 times and passed 52. Really? Really? You're going to pass 52 times with practice squad wide receivers, but Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt... And you're not going to run the ball with them? Like, it's the Jets. Just run it. And you make the playoffs. Ugh. It was so frustrating to see. Um, and, like, they just, that was terrible. Um, you, you have two of the best running backs in the league and you just don't use them. Like, really? Uh, speaking of the Steelers, they're number 10, going up two spots this week after a comeback performance against the Colts. I think this team is still not quite good enough um, to really do much and go far, but this team did show some poise and some things that are nice to see from a team that, you know, needed it. It needed that win because if they lost, they could have lost the divisional title. So now they get to rest people have fun. Not show the Browns too much because they're expecting the Browns to make the playoffs and play them in the playoffs. So I think it's a great idea to set starters for this week. Get people rested and not show too much. Um, next, we have the Tennessee Titans going up a spot. Oh, no, they're going down two spots this week after their horrendous performance against the Green Bay Packers. Just, again, another case of run the ball like like that's all you need to do um this Packers defense I think was came into the game at 26th against the run 26th against the run and they they kind of stuck it to you like I guess they did it was a Tannehill did throw two picks which is not what you want to see from Tannehill um so I guess that does lay in part to a reason why they lost as well but um, they ran the ball a little bit more. I can't be mad at the Texas or the Titans, but again, Tannehill again showed the boom or bust mentality this team has, and I don't like that mentality. Um, I think that mentality is very scary, um, which is why I ranked it below the Colts last week, and this is why they're falling again because that bust they busted last week. Um, and then we got the Ravens at eight. The Ravens are playing way better than they were when they were 6-5. and five. I thought this was going to happen, which is why I kept them in the top 12. I did not expect them to falter and to get even worse. Um, so here they are, 8. They're a team that could do some good things, but they have to still prove themselves. I think they're the best team in the division as of right now. Um, and I hope to see what they do against the 4 seed that they're going to be playing with against... Speaking of that potential four seed, the Indianapolis Colts dropping a spot after giving up a big time, big time um, comeback. And that was, it's unfortunate when you do that, because again, that could have been an opportunity for them to take over the division. Um, they would have been first in the division um, and they just soiled it again. Um, Tennessee Titans fans are super happy with the Steelers, but yeah, oh, they're not taking care of opportunities. Um, next is basically the perfect Buccaneers, um, at s number six. They played perfectly against the Lions, who were literally in a mess. Easy as that. Five is Seattle. S uh, actually, all the rest of the teams did not move any spots. Um, and they, for the same reason. I mean, Seattle played, ex they all played the exact same way that you would expect them to play on a given week. Um, the only team that had a potential of flip-flopping was the Packers and the, um, the Packers and the Bills, but the Packers played so dominantly that they were not going to flip. Every every team just dominated their opponent last week, except for the Chiefs, who actually could have gone down as well, but they're still winning. They're maintaining the wins that they need to. So anyway, on that note, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, hope week 17 goes well for us or any every one of you. 
I need a Packers loss and a Saints loss and a Seahawks win. If I can get that, that would make the best start to 2021. Welcome into 2021, actually, as well as this would be posted New Year's Day. Have a wonderful day. Love you all. Peace.